We're live. Beautiful in Dallas, but there's helicopters everywhere because president's in town or was or is. I don't know. What's up, Amber? Jill, welcome. Pieces from yesterday. Hey, Ellen. This stuff is still pretty soft. That's set. That's set. This is still soft. I hope I mixed everything up well enough. Mona, CJ, Lou, Faith, Tamara, what's up, everybody? Friday night. Time to party. Turn up. I didn't get any, didn't get any sippy sippy. I have to run downstairs. Okay. What's up, Sheila, Jan? So, this is how this one turned out from yesterday. It's, it's set, but it's like, as if, um, like you use art resin and it's like 10 hours after it started to set. Like, I'm sure if I put my thumbnail in it, it would leave a mark. But I'm pretty excited about those colors. I wouldn't mind doing that plum and chocolate again. Greg, Gloria, what's up everyone? Are you going down there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's up, Kim? Jeff's leaving us. He's going to grab a sippy sippy from the store. Hey, Patty. So, all right, I gotta show y'all, let me get a light. It's not here, oh, it's over here. Hey Tracy, Sam, I don't know where Cujo is, I think he's in the closet. I don't know how that works. So, I did this. I think I need another layer of clear on it though. I'm pretty sure. But, I'm gonna do another one. I used um, that Torganol People's Flake for the black. And I think it, it almost looks like shredded trash bag, <laughs> but I think it added something different than what I've seen before. So that's all I was really concerned with is doing something that's not what everybody else was doing. So I'm putting together the tutorial for that. I think we're gonna start like sending out messages from our something, our website so that people know when we're gonna be on. So I'll send a link for y'all to like subscribe to our like updates. Yeah, the black flaky stuff is cool. The, I used a gold, the gold paint pen that we use to sign our um, paintings a black paint pen, and I think the teal is from, actually I have them right here. These are what I used on this. So 
So I use this Molotow for the green. It's an acrylic paint pen. Deco color for the black. And then pen touch gold for the gold. And I used my these for the black texture. I wish I had thought about it sooner. I could have used it probably instead of the, the glass to make it not as heavy, like for shipping purposes. I think I could have used this stuff instead of the glass. Not only is it probably safer, because I used this glass for this piece. It's like tea tiny crushed up mirrors. So it looks like this. I think it was like three layers. It was a lot harder than I thought, but now that I've gotten one to where I like it, I don't think I'll use this like glass glitter again, but this is car flake and glass and car flake and glass, paint pen and then resin. It is hard to do the resin. Thank you, Karen. Mariette, I'm glad you're still awake. Andrea, Judy usually tunes in, so I don't anticipate her skipping out. We're gonna pour with her this weekend. Looking forward to that for sure. And the car flake does like really cool stuff. I wish I had better lighting in here. It is what it is. I didn't use fast curing resin. I'm gonna take this to the other room, it has better light. I used the slowest curing resin. I used um, art resin. I'm not sure why I chose to use art resin, but I did. I feel like fast curing resin gets cloudy sometimes. So, Also, some of my glass floated away, so it's in like different parts. I'll be doing it. I'll be doing another one. Andrea, we are starting classes. Actually, I'm gonna put this back up. Um, I think the first one is gonna be, what month is it? It's. May, June 2nd, sometime in the afternoon, I think we're gonna do our first class. How did you come up with your artist till death name? Patty, that came up because Jeff used to paint under, like he wanted a company called Artist Till Death because he's always been an artist and he wants to be an artist till forever. So that's where that came from. Hey, Elena. Yeah, Kathy, I don't know. I think, I don't know what's wrong with artist Sue's mom, but that's why her site isn't really taking in any orders right now. Ellen, I'm glad you finally got your uh, Maui. I think I might use Maui tonight. I haven't decided what colors to use. Do y'all have any suggestions or ideas? Well, that didn't do much help.
Um, Ellen told me that if you want to order Maui, they have an issue with their website, so you have to like call them and order it. Just a heads up. Maybe I'll use some of these powders. I haven't used a lot of black diamond yet. Hi, hey, Nancy from Connecticut. Maui is from Distinctive Concrete Concepts. I will link it in the description box below. Karen, you're only saying neon purple because you just did an awesome purple. Magenta, gold, and black, emerald, green, and gold. Linda, um, we're thinking June 2nd. Send me an email, thornton at artisttilldeath.com, two T's, two L's, and I will send you all the info on that. I think we're gonna do it in our studio. Andrea, what is the deal with Maui? Did they really raise the price to 69 or is it 39? It's listed as both on their site. I would just call them. It is really expensive. I don't know why it's up there so high, but it is a beautiful color. If I could get it open with one hand, probably not. Ugh, uncle. Um, Ellen, what did you pay for that, the Maui? Teal, plum, and gold. So many people like the purple. I think, hey, Denise. I think I want to, I think Jeff is doing another rainbow piece because we had one commissioned so i think jeff's doing one of those tonight he also wants to do a long one black and red from artist and gold lots of glitter i have been wanting to use this glitter it is 18 karat gold glitter powder i haven't put this in anything yet so Um, I'm not sure if this is the smallest size that Maui comes in, but this is the quantity that they sent us. Okay, I'll use the gold dust. And then I feel like Jeff already did a purple and gold. But it was so pretty. Why not just do another one? It's sold. I'm sorry your day was stressful, Ellen. Hope it gets better. We'll be getting into the pour soon, y'all. Just waiting on Jeff to get back up here. Let's see. This color was really pretty. I'm so bad with picking colors sometimes. What's up, ideas? Laura says do another purple and gold. Yeah, I just pulled those. I'm really digging this purple rain. Karen, having a sippy sippy. Awesome, welcome, Michelle. Just trying to get some colors picked out. You had a bit of cancer surgery yesterday, no big deal. Sounds like a big deal. Hope you're feeling better. Let's see. Purple, gold. Oh, Purple Rain is by Larez. It's an epoxy pigment paste. And it's pretty amazing. Oh, I was showing them something in the hall. What's up, people? And 
Uh, Judy, I can't wait till they let me bring you a new rack. I'd give you this one because you have way more paints than I do, but this one is not as big as the other one, so. I know, but I feel like Judy really, really needs it. Erica, please look at your shelf. Second shelf from the top, the bright green. This one. They have amazing vision. Hmm. 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 My cousin just asked if I don't know if he met this one yet. Let me get the. Cousin Kim's daughter. It's the one that Juliana likes. Oh, well, like, you guys are cousins. Like, what? You're that's a little crazy. It's the one that Judy was talking about. But yeah, I guess I've done that yet. Turquoise, black, and red. We have it, and I actually was thinking about that on the way up here. I want to do like a real bright, like almost turquoise light blue color in red. You should use that new Lorez teal. That you used in that one? Ruby said, yay, I made the live now to neglect my family for the next hour or two. Oh my God, the building is red tonight. It is red. All right, let's get this party started. We're 20 minutes in. Did Jeff get a haircut? No, he's just wearing a different hat. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't get haircuts, I shave my head. <laughs> Do you and Jeff realize you're pretty much a reality TV show at this point? I'm down. Sippy, sippy. What if you put this teal with that, a red, like that lipstick red? Um, hey, Sue, where do you buy your 91% alcohol? We get ours from like CVS or Walmart, I think. I think we got them at Walmart, actually. We're doing great, Sue, how are you doing? How did the coaster drip turn out? I worked on this piece today. This is how this turned out. Right, we're going to go to TNA. We're going to TNA? Ooh, that could be a nice one. That almost looks like a country. Let's see here. That yellow basically turned green. We need that one a little white over here. Um, where are the other coaster drips? I think they're over here. This is how the Texas turned out. And then the drips. Interesting. John Vermont, I need you to send me your shipping address, sir. Hey, we're getting something from far away. I don't know, uh, <laughs> let me see. Um, let's see, artistic amnesia, who's that? Amnesia. Amnesia, amnesia. <laughs> amnesia, like if you I have, know, I was oh. just saying it the way I wrote it. Oh, it's Rod. Broadline? Rod's sending us. He said, uh, hey, can you send me your 
Who do you want to address? Because I think it's shipping maybe take a bit. It comes from far away. He goes, this is a secret, but I will say it involves art. Love it. Phil, I haven't checked my Facebook hashtags today. We've been running around taking care of. Sorry. You can hear her because she's right there behind the camera. And around right here area. Have you guys? Need, you know what we need is a wall of uh, the foam so it doesn't echo. We need a boom mic just right here. Have you guys ever used purple with red and what was the result? Purple with red. Have we ever done purple and red? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think we have. Thanks, John. Two T's, two L's, John. This is true. Two T's, two L's. Y'all, for the art classes that we're doing, We've decided that we're going to have shirts made for people that attended the class. And we're going to call it yeah. Help Me, I'm Poor. P-O-U-R. Yeah. Tour. Dallas. 2000. It's a tour. It'll be like a tour shirt, like a concert shirt. Oh. <laughs> and then all our dates on the back, it'll be canceled. Except for Dallas. Sold out. Sold out. <laughs> Does Cujo sleep with you guys? I did purple, red, and white, gold two nights ago. It looked awesome. I'm sure it did look awesome. And he sleeps under the bed, basically. He likes to sleep on the floor because it's colder. Hey, B, let's get show on the road. We're like 20-something minutes in. Okay, whoa. Bridesmaids, right? I know it. Y'all can't be patient. They're just chilling, babe. It's not like we have a time limit. I know. I just... We already run in a two Is hour. That hippie long stocking? Boy. That piece looks like it's gonna fall. So B is doing these colors. Sapphire, turquoise blue, and lipstick red. These two are little res. This one is artist zoo. I'm gonna mix this with that. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna make a little bit brighter darker teal for the red. This is going to be fun right here. I haven't so used this yet. So you're doing a two color pour? Yes. Cool. No. Three. What's the other? I'm, I might put black in there. Let's go get you a black. I haven't used black yet. Yeah, I have. You have. You used it on that big one behind you. It's awesome. Out. We just bought a new box. I know. I just said we out of that. Lime, turquoise, red, and purple would be bright. The more time, the better with you two. Just arrived. Welcome, Margo. I want to do that lime and all the oranges and browns, like that thing in Ethiopia that we saw. Yeah. Lisa says she has a shirt for her art shows that says, this girl is a poor artist. That's cute. That's super cute. Sheila Come said, on, all please. right, you're connected to my TV. Now it's time to get to business. What's up, Laverne? How surely? Is the purple one gone? The purple one was purchased last night. However, I'm about to do basically the same colors. But mine's going to be better because it's going to have 18 karat gold glitter powder. Dun, dun, dun. Jeff, have you used the Vallejo pink yet? I haven't. Maybe I should use it in that. Mm. Hey. Just calm down. Be sweet. John said, I just sent you an email. My bees are coming in two weeks. I passed my beekeeper master degree and I'm so excited. I didn't know you had to have a degree, let alone a master's degree to have bees. 
However, congratulations. Hey, Claudia. Let's move this. Bet you're buzzing, John. <laughs> That's funny. It's a master keeper, not master's degree. Still expensive. I'm sure it is. I should do the resin and then just do this. We need all the bees we can get. I don't know how I can do that without like. Where's my uh, Exacto blade? Mm. I just had it. Right here. What is all over this? Jeez. Sheila said, you know you've taken over my primetime TV shows. Well, that's what a DVR is for, so we're good. <laughs> My grandmother likes purple and I want to do something on a canvas. What color should we go well with it? I was thinking maybe a deeper purple mica or not. I don't know yet. Also, dirty pour or regular pour? Purple is a really good color. Like it goes with a lot of stuff. Let me show you the last purple piece we did. Purple Rain. It is purple. I think you had plum in it too. Golden white. Ooh, I like this color. That's nice. That is a one of a kind color right there. Claudia said she has three bees nests in the wall of her house. Oh my God, <laughs> that would, I would not like that at all. Chandra said, I discovered y'all last night when I was researching resin art. Gonna start getting into it. You guys are great. Thanks for all the videos. That's amazing. When you have something finished, we would love to see it. Just hashtag ATDART if you post it to social media. Or just send us an email, thornartisttilldeath.com, two T's, two L's. We love seeing what you guys create, really do. This should be fun, guys. Purple, orange, neon green, and white. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do, oh. I'm gonna do um, black base, like I said I wanted to do. Okay. Like a resin black base, or? Yes. You gotta spray paint that then. What's everybody drinking on tonight? I got some Bud Light and my Cowboys koozie. That goes We're to you, make Philly Cowboys Phil. Too. We're gonna make we're, we're going to make cowboys. Um, yeah, that goes to Philly Phil. Um, even though we're losing a lot of our guys right now, they're just like quitting on us. We're tiring. Jason Witten just left. Wow. All right. All right. Two and two is too much. Mm-hmm. Green wine. Never heard of that. Gin and tonic. Nice.
gray, purple, like a sea green, and something else. Mm, that would be good if you're going to do... I would add white for sure. And I probably, the thing with dirty pores is that it tends to get really busy looking on canvas. So probably I would suggest a puddle pour. Purple Rain is from Larez. that you can get through Laura Usher. Pink lemonade, a whole lot of lemonades happening tonight. Pink lemonade sounds good. Jeff seems so relaxed, obviously already had his sippy sippy. I've had two drinks of that beer. I'm listening to music. Yep, that's exactly what I was gonna say. To me, said I'm seriously drinking Bud Light in the exact same koozie. Sweet! Spirit animals. Aftershock. They still make Aftershock? I used to drink that. Samantha's going hardcore. H2O on the rocks. Ooh, slow down. Nobody likes a sloppy drunk. <laughs> sangria, Jeff loves sangria. I don't love it, I'll tolerate it. That's the only wine I'll drink with her. I'm trying to get him into the wines. You can't try to get people into wine, like you either like it or you don't. But you can learn and to I like don't. it. Nancy's Next drinking stop. her melted Ben and Jerry's she took out earlier and forgot, that's funny. Because they were setting in the sun. There's no sun that hits that, baby. You know that. So cute. All these are pretty much clean, kind of, but no room for anything. No, oh, we need a bigger place. Hot tea getting attacked by June bugs. Lisa, I have a friend that is mortified at any, all the bugs. Any, all the bugs. Jedi is deathly afraid of June bugs in particular. When I had hair, like my long hair. <laughs> Don't cry. In my, in my hair. Like it got tangled in my hair and I was in my garage painting. And you would think that there was 14 hornets on my face. I would I'd have get paid out money. Lying my face or even touch me. Bates says after shock is better than fireball. Andrea says wine is. Yucky. Wine is gross. Yucky. Green beans. You're never going to eat green beans ever again. Hey, <laughs> D. Lisa says you'll like the wine that she's sending. It tastes like Welch's grape juice. That's awesome because he loves grape juice. Welcome, Kenny. Kristen, that sounds good. John said, what are June bugs? They're a bug that's ugly. They're in, they only come out in June. 
except for it's May. They arrive early. It's a little bug. It's a beetle that flies. And they make a weird sound and they have prickly legs. They're weird. And they, they come out of their shell and they stick to the trees, the little skeletons. That's not a June bug. Is that a locust? Yeah. Or a cicada. Same. Yeah. What's that, Paula? If you spray paint the canvas, do you still need to sand it and use house paint so it won't sag? We did all that before. Is, I, I, I painted this twice with house paint before I did this. Yeah, we did the house paint sanding, all that prep before going live. Um, if you, if you're dusting, like if you're doing a fade and you, and you're kind of standing far off of it and you get some overspray, you might want to sand it, but then you might ruin the whole look of it though. But if it's just a solid color, you just get a good amount on there. And and you should be alright, you shouldn't have to sand it unless you're using really crappy sandpaper. Am I talking loud enough? You're talking louder, so I hope it's loud enough. Maybe I should put another headphone in and I'll be really loud and then <laughs> Right. Amber, my friend's name is Ashley Jahidi. But like the way she spells it, it just looked like Jedi with a couple H's. So I just called her Jedi and it stuck. Jeff, you really should be wearing your mask. I can't hear you. I got my headphones on. Headphones on. <laughs> How are Jeff's arms? They're good. Thank you for asking. Sherry's canvases finally came in. She's prepping for tomorrow. John said, I just Googled those bugs, threw up in my mouth a little bit. Their legs are so prickly. It's so bad. It's, they stick to everything. Welcome, Shy. How'd your finals go? White grubs you see in dirt. That's a baby June bug. I had no idea, Judy. People are saying you're good. So just turn your music up and talk loud. Laura asks if two coats of paint should tighten up the canvas. So if you paint it and then hit it with a heat gun to dry it, it should tighten up the canvas. What also works is taking a, not spritz, I don't know the word, like one of these bottles and spritz the back of a canvas with warm water and then hit it with a heat gun or blow dryer, it should also tighten it up. But yeah, and then we sand it in between each, like we'll paint it with house paint and sand it down. Nope, paint it with house paint, dry it with a heat gun or blow dryer and then sand it down and then repeat that process. That way the canvas is really smooth and it won't show like funky canvas texture. We haven't sanded this one yet. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like this, this canvas texture. Do y'all use a 60 grit paper when sanding and prepping? That is way <laughs> too harsh. We we'll, so, so maybe the back, like to get the- uh, The drips off. The drips off, yeah. You, but you wanna be careful. You wanna do that with your hand, like just with a, with a block, wrap it around the block and hit the back with the little lumps. But you start off with a 220 and then maybe a 400 after that. That's what I would do. 
So we have just this little block when we're not using like the power tool. It's just a white piece of wood. And then we'll use this to sand off. This is a 60 grit. We'll use this to sand off um, drips if we want to use that instead of like heating them off or cutting them off or using power tool, we'll use that block. But use a 220 or a 400 for the top of your canvas. You're allergic to bee stings, Karen, I'm sorry. Jeff hates all winged stinging bugs like a bee or... Winged. Or... I just, it's not like that I'm afraid of them, but I don't want them to touch me and I do not want to get bitten or stung. It's like a really, ugh. Like, I'm, I know nobody wants to get bit or stung, but it's just, I get freaked out. Like if something, like even if a grasshopper flies on me, like you'd, you'd see a little girl, like. <laughs> you guys, freaks out. I have a video of him trying to catch a bee with, what was that when like a bee got in here and you were like running around with a broom and something. Trying to kill it. And it was a wasp. Whatever it was. It was a hornet. It was hilarious. It was about this big. Your, the hornet was that big? Yeah. Pretty sure. Bye, Linda. Linda's like, I'm out of here. She said, gotta go. We're at 10 cm, so centimeters? So it's go time. Can't wait to see what you guys do tonight. 10 centimeters? Is she pregnant? Hmm. I guess. I'm broke. What do you think are some fundamentals to have for a beginning pour? Also love your work. You're going to need gloves. You're going to need. That. You have to have gloves. You're going to need paper cups. You're going to have to buy some of these stir sticks that we make from artistheldeck.com. Or if you're balling on a budget, those will work. You're going to need resin. <laughs> You're gonna need something to pour on, like a canvas or a wood board. These are wood, this is canvas. And you're gonna need something to color your resin with. So an ink or an acrylic or a pigment powder. And then you're gonna need something that gets really hot to pop the bubbles that are in resin. So you can use a heat gun or a torch. The, uh, those torches, um, at Home Depot, if you buy one of those, uh, like you, you have to, you have to spend the money to get these. It's like, I want to say like fifteen dollars, but you get this, this, and this, and then the the replacements are only like three dollars, four dollars. So that's pretty cheap. If you want to do that, or go get a little butane torch. Andrea said, sounds like it could have been a hornet or a pterodactyl. It was most likely a pterodactyl hornet. Crossbreed. Lisa said, Jeff has a string hanging off his right wrist wrap. Got it. Thanks. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, Clara. Glad to see you. Linda's watching you guys while in labor. Pretty awesome if that's the case. Right? Damn it. It's going to be the first ATD baby. Name it Thornton. They probably already have a name picked up. Probably Thornton. Mm, yeah. Linda says, sorry guys, I'm the doctor, not the mama. That's still pretty cool. Maybe even a little bit more cool. Linda, that sounds exciting and horrible. 
So if you're using wood and it's not quite even or square, what do you use as a form? Sue, I don't know that I understand the question. When you say even, do you mean like if the the base isn't level or if you mean like it's not a perfect square? Please advise. Hanging with Tony said, if you want to start cheaper, just start with acrylic pours and work your way up. That's smart. I was thinking it, but if he wants to do resin, I was like, well, he can do resin. The miniature butane torches are like $12. I saw that today, Tiffany. I was researching like materials for when we do class. Because I want to do classes that are like all inclusive so you don't have to come with anything, but then you leave with, you know, whatever you bring in. And get some wax paper. The guy on the budget. Get wax paper, put it down. And the good thing about that is, is the next day you can peel it up and make stuff out of it. Who knows? Who knows, man? Who knows? Chris. All right. Who's ready? All the hands up. Do we get thumbs up on this video or what? We're at 44 right now. I usually work with lighters, but they run out so fast and are expensive. Just get a heat gun. This one was like $19. She's watching while delivering a baby. That's even more hardcore. Agreed. Push. Move, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be horrible. Not a perfect square. Um, it does. You don't have to pour on perfect squares. We're gonna get some triangle-shaped canvases or canvas boards. No, MDF board cradle boards. Why am I not wording right now? You're not. Wood panel canvas boards from Greg. It doesn't have to be a square. Is prepping cheap my Michael's canvases the same process? I didn't prep mine at all last time. I, I would say that you would need to make sure that you prepped Cheap Michael's canvases because they're made less sturdy. So I would say that's a must. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a, a, uh, a good stiff one, canvas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and other times you get the kind that are already like sunk in and have little divots at the corners and... Hi, Leanne. Those are the kind you really got a baby and... and uh, What's up, Roland? Spray warm water on the back, hit it with a hair dryer, and then roll on. Uh, don't push down on, obviously. Just roll on like good, thick house paint. And then take a, a foam brush, dampen it, and then go over it, and that'll smooth it out if it's rough because of the... Roller. We roller. have a video on it. Joan says, hi, I'm new at this, and I'm wondering what is the purpose of putting fire on it? I was watching your pour on the table and watched you use a torch. That's basically the same as using a heat gun. It pops all the little bubbles that end up in the resin from mixing the two parts of resin together. It also will make the resin more liquidy, so it's easier to manipulate. All the that's what she said. <laughs> I'm catching up to where we're supposed to be at. So, like, at least 10 people hit the that's what she said. I like using cradle boards. All right. We're going to name this one Fire and Ice right off the bat. Andrea says Jeff likes some stiff. Who doesn't? I think you can get more 
progress out of the stiff ones than if they're a little bit saggy. Hey, Lori. Panda Bear says, you two have inspired me to do a dining room table ocean style. I'm going to need help. We would love to. Shoot us a message at their artisttilldeath.com, two T's, two L's. And we can start talking about it. Make sure you have everything you need. Give all the recommendations. Answer any questions. He almost made me spill my resin with a stiff joke. Mm hmm. Man, that was way too thick. I didn't want to do it that thick. What? <sighs> I'm going to put my headphones in if you can be nice. I didn't say it. He said it. Hey, Sue. There should be a that's what she said button right next to the thumbs up button. Agreed. I love it. Karen already like put her eyes on somebody like, I'm watching you. John's going to get put in timeout again. It's Friday night adult time. Agreed. Right? Isn't that blue pretty? Ooh, it's already doing fun stuff. Like, a lot of fun stuff. Person said, I love this channel. Even the comments section is chill. And on YouTube, that's no small thing. That's true. Are the triangle boards for sale? Um, he hasn't like posted any even available yet. He just told me he was making them, Lori. So I will ask Greg. Are you trying to create a ribbon? B? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm, I'm just, it just. Everybody's saying the colors are awesome. The resin we're using is art resin. The blue is bananas, agreed. The blue is a combination of teal blue by Larez and sapphire blue also by Larez. Whatever. Looks awesome. No, there's, there's like real thin paint right here. How fun are those little dudes right there? It looks like bubbles in water. Emerald would be awesome too with, with gold. I agree. When people ask what you're making, I have no idea. Same dude. Same. People can relate to not knowing. Love your mixology, Jeff. He's an expert. I'm not liking this red. I thought it was going to be more opaque. Hanging with Tony. Is it too early to walk away? Fish eggs, yeah. I don't like this red. Scrape it off. How am I supposed to scrape the red off? Like, how? 
I would just use um, a stir stick. I watched your explanation on how pigment density can create cells even without like resi blast, but how? Density. It's e-science. That's perfect. That's gonna be so beautiful. It's, it's really, that red is just not, it is not uh, opaque at all. Jeff will make it work. You know it. Don't scrape it. It's fantastic. <clears throat> What's the blue? It is turquoise blue by Larez mixed with sapphire blue also by Larez. jam on in it. Maybe add more black to the red. Well, he added um, more pigment to it. Judy, I think the red is lipstick red. It's either lipstick or that ruby. Dr. Jeff will fix it. 18 karat gold glitter. Bam! I don't know that he's putting any metallics in this one. I don't know. I thought about putting gold in it. It has a kind of spooky look to it. Ocean and lava. Lipstick red. I tend to overheat my resin a lot. Any tips? Gradual overheating. I know when to stop the bubbles appear. <laughs> That's way too. When it starts to spread out, just stop. Have you used the glow in the dark yet? Yeah, I did the glow in the dark a couple videos ago with Art and Glow. It turned out okay. I want to I want to try it again. Yeah, transparency does look pretty neat. Maybe purple will tie it together. Looks like multi layers. You work in a mold. Um, you may need one of those pressure pot things. You know the volcano is erupting in Hawaii, so imagine they are having an ocean and lava. That's yeah, true. Yeah, I saw that. It's crazy. Maybe Ellen can help you with that because I don't work with molds really, but she just made a pressure pot today. It's a tribute to lovely Hawaii. Does anyone know if Artist has any distributors or is it just strictly available from them directly? I went to the site to place an order and it's down for a while due to health issues with the family. Well, until that's back up, I don't know that you'll be able to really get anything from Artist because I think the distributors like get the paint as it's ordered it's just there's no there's no depth you know there's no
You're going to tilt the red off? Beat. You can get Lorez. Um, Laura, I think she is watching, but Laura Usher is the contact for Lorez. That looks glowy. Any idea when you might do online classes? Jan, I'm down to just like try to do a Skype class. Like whenever you're ready, we can just start that up. Just shoot me an email and we can talk about it. Throw an artist till death, two T's, two L's, dot com. Jam, jam on it. I think you're going to end up liking this piece, B. All right, just because of these little bitty guys. We're going to do our first, like, in-person live class here. June 2nd, I think. If you're interested in the June 2nd class, shoot me an email as well. ThornArtistTillDeath.com. Two T's, two L's. And I'll let you know the info. There you go. Put the red inside the turquoise, turquoise inside the red. You're going to love this piece when it's done. There you go. I like it very much. Looks good with the blue inside the red. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome, T. Ugh, the red, I'm disappointed. Like, it's, it's very just blah. Like, I guess I'm just used to, like, multi... It's so crazy how that blue will do that little air bubble look. It's over here too. Give me some white. And give me some white and give me a. Oh shit, we don't have yellow. Looks great now. If Jeff doesn't like it, I will connect with you and make an offer. Well, Fran, if you like it like this, let me know so I don't let him put anything else in it. Oh, I know, Ticey, sorry. Fran said no white, please. Sounds like she wants to buy it without the white. Well, if she wants to buy it, what is this, an eight by 24? I think it is an eight by 24. Okay, well, I mean, what, 125? Yeah. What do you think, France? 125? And do you want... How? I charge this light. What a that shitty looks fun. light. She said deal. That looks fun.
looks wonderful. Cells are amazing. The cells are something else. I'll order some sticks to be shipped with it. Awesome. We're going to go pick them up tomorrow. They're right here. It is very dramatic. There's so many parts that I like in it. I don't know how or why that blue does that. Sorry. I feel like if you did a piece that was just black and this color blue and just did a design, it'd be a popular piece. Is it hot there? Is that why it's curing so fast? I think it might be. It's pretty warm here and these like floodlights that we have don't help at all. And it's I think in the 80s today. So that's most likely what's going on right now. Lisa said, I love this one. One of my favorite pieces to date. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I agree, 100% do the blue and black. Alcohol inks out of Sharpies and 90% alcohol. Will they work okay in resin? They will, but I'll tell you that alcohol inks, I don't know if it's the same with homemade alcohol inks, but inks tend to fade very fast and resin. How many times do you heat the resin in the course of the painting on average? I don't even know what to answer that. Depends on the look you're going for. Yeah. I'll try to count, Michael. I think so too with the black and blue. I think so as well. Yeah, Karen had one cure super fast today. Next one is gonna be sold before the resin's even poured. That'd be awesome. Dicey, you fixed your name. Yeah, we're doing another one, maybe two other ones. Just don't forget to say bye, John. Hey, Kelly. Tink. You can see those sand marks in there. Yeah. I wish my parents were supportive of me working with resin. They yell every time they see me working on any of my craft stuff. I want to run a business, but it doesn't help with no products are done. Advice for a young artist with not supportive parents? Um, I would just keep doing it. Just Show them, prove them wrong. I mean, that's what I, that's what I would do. Uh, luckily, I, I'm, I was fortunate to, my mother, my dad did not like my art. I, I could say that. <laughs> he would just look at it like, what are you doing? Like he, he made doors and windows, so. My mom supported me 100%. Still does. Still does. She bought me my first airbrush. Markers. Just keep at it. That's what I would do. <clears throat> Barbara, you didn't miss. We did one piece. 
and Miss France Botter. Now Jeff is gonna do another one. Just gonna do, I'm just using what's left over. We have leftover resin. Follow your passion. Good job. I agree. I miss everything. No, Dan, um, we did this piece that we're gonna need to probably put a clear coat on. We're gonna need to clear coat that. Bye, John. And we're gonna do this piece. If we have time, I'll do a pour. Karen, your parents refuse to let you go to art school. My parents were like, just get a degree. And so I did. Does anybody know how acrylic inks work in resin? We've used acrylic inks, they work just fine. They're really opaque in terms of inks. Welcome, Rebecca. Tom said, I said, bye. Bye. In August, I go to college, but they're not letting me take my stuff with me. Just, just pack it or get new, like acquire new stuff in college. Don't, there's going to be hurdles if you want to be an artist, yeah. like full time. <laughs> so just. This makes you a better, stronger artist. If it's inside of you, it's in you. That's. There's nothing you can change about it. You're not going to be happy in life if you do what other people say to do. I'm not a philosophist. <laughs> I'm not at anything. Just, I'm just an artist. By Annie Gurry. Tamara, that's awesome. Just get a Pell Grant for school. That's not always the easiest thing. I applied for a Pell Grant and they were like, no, your parents make over the amount that you can like have as income for household. And so I was declined a Pell Grant even though they don't take how much like bills your family has when they look at Pell Grant applications. Mary Lou, welcome. Sippy Sippy. Tink. Oh, thanks, B. Love you too. I'm listening to LL Cool J. Oh, it's like that. Linda got married young, had family, discovered how much she loves art in her late 60s, have a husband, and he supports my art. Lucky. Who was the person that said that their parents didn't? Um, Just being... come here. Just come here. We'll support you in any way we can. It's a good idea, Nora. That's true, Shy. When I applied for my Pell Grant, I was 17 and still, like, legally a dependent, I suppose. Kristen, what kind of art does your mom do? Miss Erica Lee, welcome. No worries, we're just um, on the second piece. I've got harsh Asian parents with high expectations. Uh, the entire summer before senior year, I spent a few days a week for a couple of weeks. Asian parents are tough. Jeff has a lot of Asian friends. And all of their parents are Would you say they're hard on their children? They were. Jenny Song's parents are, are uh, they were hard on her. I mean, not hard on her, but they, 
who was I talking about them? She's Korean. But yeah, they're very, you know, they want their very traditional. That's hot. Watch out. Samantha says, my brother just came to visit and asked what I was watching, and I told him the resonator, and he said, the Terminator? And I was like, no, Jeff, the resonator. <laughs> That's funny. Laura, that's awesome. I paid for all of my school as well. I had two jobs in college and I took out a lot of loans from the government. Welcome, Steve. Culture does have a lot to do with it, I agree. Same, Lori. It's fun. That's awesome, Kristen. Wow, Jeff, loving it. It's definitely different. Looks kind of like an asteroid. looks neat. How did you and Jeff meet? It's always a fun one. I was hanging out with a friend of his in a non-exclusive situation and I ran into Jeff one night <laughs> and we decided to break dance. We did. And so we did. <clears throat> and that was the beginning. We were friends first. Yeah, we were friends for a while, like. Four months? That just heated up right there, but I don't. Do you want the torch? No. Uh, I don't like that now. I like the, uh, the the look of it. It looked like it was like going inward, but. You need to put more resin on it. Yeah, I know. Do you guys only do resin pours or do you do acrylic pours also love your work? We've done acrylic pours. We actually started with acrylic, but ended up wasting more paint than we were like getting successful pieces. And then we found some resin pours and liked what it looked like. And we saw quite a few resin pieces. For, uh... Yeah, we did. Yeah, Franny's doing um, he's using art resin. Yeah, you definitely need to have a job. Um, especially when you're first starting out and making a name for yourself, you need to be able to contribute Starving artist is not a good look. I was literally just trying to make a, a, uh, a shadow. <laughs> it's always non-exclusive. She stalked him. That's true. I did stalk him a little bit. She did. Well, he said he was an artist, and I was like, okay, but still, like, what do you do? 
Like, how do you pay your bills? He was like, with my art. I was like, you can't, like, live in Dallas off art income. That's not a thing. Turns out it was. These look insane. And then I asked him if he wanted to go paint with me, and he was like, no. Because he has had people ask if they want to go paint before. Well, I didn't know you. I was like, why are you asking me to go paint? I thought she was just flirting with me. It turns out she was. Ooh, that's fun. Have you ever used those canvases that already come black? Uh, we have, but we never know what color we want to do the base, so we just start with white. It looks like an eyeball. Your eyeball has cataracts or something. There's a bubble or something in it. Well, it's probably just really thin right there. Yeah, it's very thin. My friend Glenn is hooked to ATD. That's <clears throat> funny. That's good though. It's I have a hurricane. It's boring. It's boring. I bet you it's could. Red in it. You, B, it's gonna look like a bloodshot eye. You could like airbrush over that and make it a thing. Mm. Well, I have a lot of these. What am I supposed to do with this? You have another square. Let's see what white looks. Hot girl asked Jeff to paint. Jeff says no. I denied her twice on Facebook. That's true story too. I friended him on Facebook and he was like, no. And then I saw him in person at a different club and he was like, why didn't you ever friend request me? And I was like, <laughs> dude, I did. And then he was like, just do it again. And so I did and I got rejected again. Because you look different in person than you do on your, the main picture. And I thought she was a guy. So, <laughs> I was like, not gonna have it. I thought it was a guy just trying to, because her picture, I'm sorry. It was a lot of makeup. It was a lot, lot of makeup. makeup. Welcome, Daryl. <clears throat> Camera says coasters. A lot of people says coasters or skins. One red dot right in the middle. Y'all, he's so good at painting eyes. I feel like he could do one of his amazing eyes in there. Let me show you. Let me just, I can't get up there, but I feel like he could make it work. Playing hard to get, basically, yeah. Hey, Angela. Jeff's a pimp for real. I'm down there. I'm not a pimp. Dang, Jeff, savage. It was savage. Oh, yeah, the eyes are in color. You have a lot of resin left over. That he does. What? Erica's a pimp. This is true. I stalked the prey and pounced. I threw him in the trunk of my car and the rest is history. Tamara wants to know how much you're selling the eye for. Like this or after he airbrushes on it? I the airbrush on it. I love these little things right here. They look like old school flames. All right, then how much to sell it as is? As is 75 or 65. 65. Plus shipping. Well, Tamara is already getting another piece from us, so we'll just put it in the same box. Erica's so pretty. She was like, what the rejection? 
What well, is that? Huh? She was like, what is that? Whatever. I've probably been rejected before. You won, Erica. I did. She did. Got what I wanted. It's all true. Remind me to show you a photo, you guys, when we're about done. Sold. You're going to need to get me a bigger box. <laughs> she bought my uh, primary color pour. Ah, cool. How fun. I love it when it sells with like darker colors under lighter colors. It makes the depth look bananas. The paintings are flying out tonight. Resin even thickened yet. That's true. However, this one is not. You should see the the layers. Like it looks like there's layers on top of layers. Because I poured the resin down first, all three colors, and then poured the clear over it. So then it started layering over itself. There's actually a shadow. Yeah, I see that. Right here from the other one sitting on top of it. I think I want to spray some alcohol on it. All right, put the um, put the eye away. Do you have the alcohol, like a colored alcohol or just the clear? Just clear. Yeah. Coming. Nope. I have a thing for eyes. Same. Jeff's eye work is like crazy good. While he's resetting, I'm just gonna show off for a minute. How bananas is that? I'll answer that. All the bananas. Those look real, right? I perfect. He's going to do a portrait on, well, I don't know where the canvas went. Does he do that with airbrush? I do it with airbrush, and I'm learning, teaching myself to do it with paintbrush. Clara has said, I have an idea. Mystery canvas auction with bids starting at a certain number, and when Erica and Jeff say it's done, Erica reads the highest bid at the time. We actually thought about doing that, and um, Judy would be the tally keeper of like what bid is where. Brian says, my wife Crystal is in love with you guys. That's so awesome. How much do you think you guys would charge to spray paint a wedding photo on canvas. That would have to be a pretty large canvas to do spray paint and do a portrait. And I really don't paint nails. I'm not a, I don't, I don't really do that. Yeah, he doesn't paint men. I have before, but I really have to want to paint the photograph. <clears throat> That's a fun little piece right there. Mm -hmm. Like his favorite things to paint are eyes and hair. So it would be difficult for a male portrait. Have you guys ever done black and gold? I haven't seen one, but 
I know, we haven't done like a solid like black. I get asked really. for those two colors all the time, but I don't know how to get it and get cool effects. Any suggestions? Um, stick with pigment pastes. Lorez is coming out with a new pigment paste and we're getting some colors from Color Obsession that I'm super pumped to try out. Clara, I agree, that would have been a good size for a mystery auction. Steve loves the sound of your voice, Erica. Even though I'm so country and I say y'all. What about just the bride? Ticey, just send us the, yeah, he would need to see the photo. Send us Thornton at artistilldeath.com, two T's, two L's, but you already have our email address. Um, it's gotta be really high resolution image. Do you guys realize that you're at 7.3 thousand subscribers? I had no idea. So jealous that you guys have all the workspace. We have a good amount of space, but we we work hard for it. The hustle is real. Hustle is real. Rod line. Here's a tip. Good Friday to you. Thank you, Rod. The one that Jeff just, just did, did he put resin on the raw canvas and then flood coat of clear, or did he just put clear on the bottom too? I don't think he started with clear. It was, it just, it was just the color paint. on the canvas. And what happens when you do that is the color will stick to the... That looks fun. The color resin will stick to the, um, the canvas. Fun. And then he poured the clear over top. I'm from Tennessee, you ain't speaking country. It's crazy that it has red, white, and blue in it, but it doesn't look like one of those patriotic pieces. Probably because of that teal. That's still doing that like separated bubble thing. That's a good idea, Andrea. He should join an artist group near where they're at. That resin is lasting forever. It's it's getting thick, but it is lasting a long time. And I mean, that's what we like about art resin. How many subs to get the button? I think the- 100,000. The lowest button for- the lowest amount of subs for a button is 100,000 subscribers. One day, one day, y'all. Ticey, I think, I think you're absolutely right. Oh, that's crazy. Now there's a bloodshot eye. Yeah, that's nuts. Faith said that y'all should do a day in the life video. This reminds me of the Journey album for some reason. The Journey album? Journey. I just like that teal and that red just in the middle there where all those cells are breaking. All right, I'll let you see. Read the rest of this and I'll give you guys some. Here it goes. Faith, I agree. We should do a day in the life video. We could do a day in the life video. I know we can use our gimbal. I wonder if we should, we should probably not do that live and just like speed through the boring parts. Panda Bear says it's so cool to be able to art with your partner. It's the best, good for you. He talked me 
he didn't talk me into it. He gave me a whole lot of good reasons why I should leave the corporate grind and use my art degree. And I feel like I'm using my business degree and my art this, degree. She has the side of, of artwork that I didn't have. The attitude and the smarts and all that stuff. Plus she called me she called me her twin flame and I, and and that was that was it. You don't know what twin flame is? Look it up. Is that really what did it? Yeah. Knew that line would come in handy. Just kidding. That was for real. I've never said that to anybody. Thanks, Ocean Aloha. Linda said I hate my voice on video, but I sound country too. I can't stand my voice. Like, I can't stand it. Angela said, sorry, you probably mentioned this, but what resin is Jeff using? It looks like it's a safe time to show me the bottle of resin. Y'all, I still feel bad about dropping a jug of <laughs> resin in his um, painting. We're using art resin, and as you can see, the working time is bananas. But I didn't, I didn't start when you, when you started. Yeah, well, we did start like at least 30 minutes in and we're at 98 minutes. So you're at an hour working time. Yeah. I second the day in the life. Oh, the button is um, when you get a certain amount of subscribers, YouTube will send you like, you know, the logo for YouTube. It's like the square with a triangle for the play, the YouTube play button. That's fun. So swirly. It looks like melted icing that was supposed to be a rose. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll send you a silver YouTube play button when you hit 100,000 subscribers. And then when you hit like a million, they send you a gold one. I'm not sure. I like doing Jeff wrote a skateboard around. Skateboard video is tops. Well, sounds like we need to do a day in the life video, B. It will be fun. I think so too. Let me, let me uh, clean this off. And, uh... Try said that's more than a soulmate. Twin flame is the only one. It is. And my mom said that you were my fire. And then you had fire tattooed on your back, and I was like, mine. <laughs> She's not a dude, and she has a fire tattoo. Try said you can have more than one soulmate, but only one twin flame. Also, your voice is great, Jeff. How long have you two been together? It'll be three years in September. Yeah. We've lived here. We just re-signed our second lease. And we can live with Monkey for a while. Thanks, Greg. All right. Sorry, Tiffany, did you, the YouTube play button is what we were talking about. Yeah. Crystal won't stop saying bananas. I'm influencing people be around the world. You are. Clara, I would love to see that. There's something good to, to inspire to be. Okay, hold on. Just don't follow me. Okay, okay. You're always following me. Well, Showing how dirty our place is. That's really awesome, Karen. Hundred thousand subscribers and all I got was this lousy button. That's funny ideas. I heard art resin is gonna be sold at Michael's. I wonder if the coupons will work towards that. Who knows? I feel like it would because we get our airbrush from there and it's like hella expensive and we use the the coupon so I don't see why it wouldn't I'm sure they're gonna do their bananas markup for sure
Linda's been married for 52 years. That's amazing. Art resin is always excluded. That makes me sad. I'll check it up in a group. Night, Sue. <clears throat> Ticey says the thing she says all the time from the channel is bye. I said bye. So this is the day that I knew that she wasn't a boy. And I took a picture of her and she didn't know that I was taking a picture of her in, this, in the uh, swimming pool. He's supposed to paint it for me one day. B. That's my favorite one. I'm pretty sure I had too many sippy sippies at that point. You guys were wasted. But only by like a and little. She, she made me add her on Facebook, like standing there. And when I saw the picture, I was like. Oh. I thought you were a dude. <laughs> Karen says everywhere she sees art resin, it's the same price. I just about put that in my ear. False. Because they have it at Azel here, and it's $40 for eight ounce. You heard yeah. that right. Bye, Leanne. They don't nope, carry not a boy. Anymore. That's funny. Erica, you know you want to chunk in that middle coaster with my order. This one? We can probably make that happen. Y'all are so sweet. I've been married more than that, but it's taken four husbands to get there. You're too <laughs> much, Judy. Do the pool as resin and then paint the picture on top, then resin the whole thing. That would be pretty boss. That would be. Merwoman. Rick, you know what? I actually... I actually am a mermaid, so. Yes. Hi, Moomer. How are you doing, Beep Beep? Okay. Such a cutie patootie. I know, it's Moo. Hi, Moo. I know it. I think the other day y'all used airbrush medium for an application other than airbrushing. Did that happen? And if so, what did you use it for? Um, we airbrushed on the lip piece. Is that what you're talking about? Bye, Ocean. Thank you. Bye, Ocean. Miss Erica Lee gave me a present for Cujo's College Fund. Have you ever dropped alcohol ink straight onto canvas with clear resin? Jamie, I haven't. And the thing is, alcohol inks aren't light fast, so they will fade rather quickly. Um, I would use an India ink over an alcohol ink. Cricket jumped up and was watching Cujo. She can play with him on Sunday. Kristen said my husband is still intact so far. That's funny. Using art resin and still getting fish eyes. Um, are you using like a resi blast or anything in your art resin? Have you used airbrush medium for flow painting? I don't think we have. I think Jeff added a little bit of the Vallejo pink into something like just to brighten a color but it was mixed with other colors so i don't think i don't think it like i didn't notice anything special because we had other stuff mixed into it what if you spray a uv protector over alcohol inks 
Um, so Judy, bad. any info on that? Thank you, Clara. Sippy Sippy Fund. Thanks, Clara. Speaking of Sippy Sippy Fund, anybody need a drink? I think I'm good. Um, just Kasten and Doc Martens. Um, you may have had, your resume have gotten too thin. Also, Kasten Craft is an epoxy paste. So it's got an oil-like quality to it. And if the resin gets too thin to the canvas, it'll go ahead and make a fish eye. So if you keep your resin thick and don't overheat it, you should be able to avoid the fish eyes. Thank you so much for the test the other day. I've had other people ask to do like other tests. So we may do another one of these soon. This is the test we did the other day. Spray paint, um, epoxy paste, casting craft, and acrylic with ink under it and with a powder pigment under it. Just to see the difference in cells. And basically, Spray paint and pigment paste were probably two of my favorites of the whole test. Bye, Sharon. In Bulgaria, that's awesome. What's the difference between India ink and alcohol ink? Alcohol ink has alcohol in it. And India ink does not. There's also some other differences but I can't, I'm not for sure, and I don't want to e-science you on that. I'm sure one of the ladies in here knows the difference and they will share with you. Rod says, I'm pimping out my Instagram and gave us a tip so his Instagram stays on the top. That's perfect. Go for it. Bye, Ellen. You should use coasters for tests. Not a bad idea. Yeah, these coasters are great for tests. I, Welcome back, done. Dylan. If you're in the U.S., look into Alumalite dyes. They make fantastic transparent and flow colors. I will. Um, should I do a pour? Are we supposed to be anywhere? Um, we'll probably meet Ron at OEP, but I think he's going to see 741, but I don't know. I love that. I want to do a real one to where it's really like, and, and it would be like a really fun artsy coaster. It's, you could put your drinks on it, but then it looks like you've got it all over. You what all over? it all over. Can we order the coasters? Are you talking about like these kind of coasters, Karen? Do you want to see our coasters? Is that what you're trying to say? We have more. Do a laptop cover. I think the best way to do a laptop cover and not get it like hurt your laptop is to do a large skin and then lay it over it, fit it, and then bond it. I've heard resin can warp after cured if it's too hot and a beverage is placed on it. If you have a resin that's not got a really high heat rating, like countertop epoxy FX can withstand over 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so it won't warp. Is there a video of how you finish the back of coasters? There is. And I can show you. You guys remember the Texas symbol I did? I showed them earlier. Oh, that Texas coaster. My friend wants to see the ones from last night if possible. Let's see. These. Those. Those. Enough, Moo. Those. And then these are all the others. These are the coasters from last night. 
Look at that. That is, and these the are my day. favorite. And then the pieces from last night. Try to get a good angle, impossible. That's funny, Sheila. Oh, like this? I don't want to bend his coaster, but that would look awesome too. How did that Home Depot resin turn out? You're just bringing your treat over here? You can come over here. <laughs> there might be resin over there, though. I'll watch him. He's already in it. Um, the Home Depot resin, it's still really soft, but it's set. I think it's just a, well, it is. And it's probably just this weather, too. It rained all day today, and then it got sunny, so it's real humid. Um, I think you should do another one of these, but bigger. I think so, too. Like, a bigger long one there. That would be sick. It's everything, a good advice, like, Judy. Everything, like, all this stuff, if it was... This one, Andrea? This is my, this is like, this is what we, what I think of as the world if the clouds were gold. Well, Andrea wants that added to her order. She's the one that covered the payment today, Andrea. Oh, yeah. So she wants this one added to her order. Okay. Awesome. Write her name on the back of it so we don't forget. No, I gotta Please. finish it. Um, is that gold the tan color that you used? In that piece over there, it is the tan. None of these have the tan that I used. How much for a coaster? Hey, Kim. Judy, I completely agree about 3D piece. B, how much are you selling these little coasters for? Um, Bye, CJ. What, what, are we, what are we selling? I agree, Phil. I think like, I don't know, like 10 bucks, seven bucks each? What do you think? I think we sold the other ones for five dollars each. Yeah. All right. Whatever. You name it. All right. Five dollars each. I'm in a following kind of mood. If you guys want to post your Instagram, Kristen is in a following mood. Feel free to add your stuff. Kim, you're not invisible. Did you ask something? Let me go back. Oh, I said hello, Kim. All right. I think, are you, are you doing the back of that or? Are you, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you were doing another pour. No, I just did the back of it. Awesome. Possum. Am I doing a pour? I don't know, are you? That's up to you, babe. It's up to you. What they do was like this one, like that. I just wasn't sure since we were at 115 minutes in. How many people are watching? 121. Yes. We need more viewers, people. Well, it was at 150 earlier, but we're not pouring anymore, so. Aren't those gorgeous? I wish my light worked. I bought this for $28 at Home Depot. And it doesn't even work that well. <laughs> it's not even like bright enough. Mm -mm. Those are fancy. 
What's that? The Pale Media. Setting up content. Can I get those two? Tiffany, Denny. We will you. I need you to finish these for Tiffany. Tiffany, will you do me a favor and send me an email just to remind me so I can make sure they're in the right order? Show, uh, I just did, I did another color. Oh my God, we have no room in here. Andrea. Two T's, two L's. Back. That's how I finished the back of that one. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna still put a clear poly over it. Yeah, we can do a poly and we can put little the tabs little, on there. Yeah. What, whose are these? Tiffany. For what? Tiffany Denny, she ordered some sticks and now she wants to add these to her stick order. We're picking those up, manana, y'all. She's sending me an email so I don't forget. Okay, please do. I'll put her name on the back. We know this is done because it's the back is done. Yeah. Tiffany. Tiffany has the two maroon ones, and then Andrea has the blue one. Is that spray paint? Yes. France, I will add the link to the coasters in the description box below this once it goes live. Um, I added them already to the last poor video. Tiff. Tiff. Looks awesome, Jeff, thank you. Thank you. All right, we go for the little Wrangler now. Hi, Miss. That's funny, Claudia. All right, how do you clean up the edges? Um, well, these, like the resin goes to the edge and doesn't bubble over. We'll spray paint these edges to match the top. And then if there's any bumps or anything on the bottom, we'll sand it down and then add a clear poly so nothing gets to it. All right, looks like I'm gonna do a pour real quick for you guys. I promise it won't be long. If you guys wanna stick around, cool. If not, also cool. It is the Texas Coaster Custom Cut. It used to be like a door hang, but we decided to make it a coaster. Hey, Jana. I always feel like I'm gonna break that, that one. Move this. We're trying to get a bunch of these so that we can make a set. I always seem to get at least one piece of lint in all my paintings. Does that happen to you guys? Um, it does happen. Like for instance, this one has a couple little imperfections. So we'll, when this is fully set, we'll sand that down and do a clear coat. Thank you, France. Sounds good. The good boy, Cujo. Let's see. Purple, gold. Yeah, I'm gonna use glitter. I'm pretty sure he's got hair on almost everything. I know y'all want green, but I just, I'm scared. I'm scared. Green always seems to make something that's purple turn brown. Color theory. I wish I just could use like green glitter, which I probably could.
Do you ever use Perlex pigments or do you use some other brand? Perlex is what I use. We love Perlex. These are all Perlex pigments. Let's see. Metallic pigments are amazing. Do Cujo colors. Hey, Moo. Yeah, I think I'm going to add another color. Purple rain, magenta, teal, green, gold glitter. Maybe purple rain, plum, and teal. Do you have green ink maybe mixed with gold? That that I just had up was green ink. Hey, Jody. I really liked these colors from last night. This plum and black. So maybe I'll pull the plum. I'm gonna keep this as a side note. Is the black over here? I think no. Ron's watching. He might be having an LED right now. Ron's watching? I think so. Lies. Where's the black at? Did I hand it to you? Black? Yeah. Did I use it? It's right behind the cup. Oh. I'm gonna get dizzy. Tammy, you're late. Behind the cups? Oh. Cool. Party's still going. Um. What am I gonna pour on? Let's just get a canvas. Kristen, that sounds very smart. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I really wish I had my other glasses. <clears throat> All right, people, hold on. Let me, um, I'm gonna get. B. I'm going to get the uh, tripod so I can keep you guys nice and steady. Hold on a second. Whoa. What's wrong? I'm going to get the tripod. There's... Um, Andrea's piece. I'm trying to look for the tripod attachment, but I can't find it. Aha, found it. Sorry for the moving around, guys. holding this phone. Yeah, apparently it burns the skin. It's true. Okay, Erica is totally hot, Jet. Put a ring on that. Calm down, Jenny and Judy. It's just Jody. Purple, rain, black, and gold. That sounds good. What are you gonna do? Maybe some plum. I feel like I should have a brighter color and balance it. Thanks, Andrea. Oh my God, I can't. This I'm is terrible. Up for you. Oh, we're gonna 
we're gonna watch, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. She's motion sick because I was moving around. Okay. Oh yeah, if, if it's, if uh, Judy, if it, if it stands still, we'll paint on it. So, there you go, okay? Oh, awesome. Do you want this, like? You can do whatever you want to do. There is like a slight delay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Jeff had the thought about how they thought about waiting for you. Do you and Erica have a separate YouTube account? Only one. We have it. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to show the camera, but we have it on the laptop because I think if you do that it goes crazy right like if you're filming and you show something being filmed it probably be fine if you just like pull it and keep it on I'll, I'll put this kind of near here so you guys can see what's happening with hot stuff mm -hmm. also we only work off of this one channel jeff used to have his own well my channel own forever ago. And then I started one. It's Erica Artist Till Death, but I ended up just doing this one. So I don't ever get on that one anymore. That's cool. All right, okay, Jeff. Jeff is in charge. Please put questions in all caps for him. Judy, you got jokes. Calm down. Judy's trying to help. <laughs> Ready, Jeff? Question. I'm struggling. This is from Angela Mendoza. I'm struggling. What What do you guys use to display your artwork at art shows? Not sure if that is a reasonable question. Um, well, if it's at an art show... They should hang it. Yeah, they should hang it. If you're at like a... If you're, if you're like at a, a art fair or craft show or festival, um, we used to have these walls that I made. They were super heavy and bulky and made of reclaimed wood. And we just put screws in it and put them up and hung them from the, uh, from the ceiling of the booth. You can see those in our, our Bebellum Arts Fair videos. Yeah, I think we have a we have a video of Deep Ellum Arts Fair. There's three day, all three days are on there. All three days are on there. If you go back to uh, was it April sixth or something? Yeah. I like this. This is much better. Good. It, but it's weird because it's like. I can see you, and it's a delay, like. Is it bad? You're still stirring on here, and now you're picking up a cup. Yeah, you can use grid walls and hooks. Uh, I'm gonna make some more with uh, some cedar, real light. And pegboards too, if you, if you, if you have the right uh, pegs to put in there to, to hold your canvas up. 
Can you guys hear me okay? I'm like trying to sit right next to the camera. You're on the side of the... Yeah, I could, I could probably make a fireball. Coaster. I was like, we're doing shots right now, already? Right now? Sippy, sippy time, everybody. Take a drink if you're drinking water. If you're drinking ice cold lemonade. <laughs> Shy. How about Shy went to bed? She said, oops, hi Jeff. Shy, I'm on laptop, so I can see. <laughs> but thanks. How about kitchen back, backsplash or rectangle insert that could be glued into kitchen cupboards? That would be beautiful. I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted just to get um, Panda Bear. I've always wanted to get, uh, you know, however many tiles it would take to cover a backsplash or a shower. Like, how cool would a shower be? If you just did all ocean colors. PJ, sorry, might have to go back and catch a couple videos. For what? Shirley wants to know if we got her package yet. I don't, I don't. I don't believe so, but if, when we do, we'll definitely give you a shout out. I'm thinking about just, if we get packages, just stuff that we don't know that's coming, just wait, and then you guys can open them when we do. Do an unboxing. Uh, Philly Phil, I have, I have not. We haven't done a wall with resin mix. I. I've, I've, I've seen a guy, the guy that, the, that, that guy with the glasses on stone coat, he always chops everything up with his little chopping brush. Um, he did a vertical wall. It didn't look very good, but I mean, I would, you know, I think you have to have a little bit of artistic ability to, to make something nice out of that. I think that you even have less control. 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 Okay. I'm gonna use some of this. Let's see here. I'm trying to go back and look at these questions, guys. B-I-A-N, Bayan, how do you say that? Where did you guys do pours when you first started out? Right here, right? Right in our art, our art area. We, 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 uh, we started doing acrylic. Erica got into doing acrylic pours. That's cool, pretty nice. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Any advice for me? That's I do my resin on a desk, but on a cabinet, so I don't think my desk is quite flat. Okay, Seems like so I don't have anywhere else to put my desk. Let's go to 
carpet. Well, get a tarp. Yeah, get a tarp or just put some put some paint sticks underneath one you know one side. Get a ball and put it on top and see if it rolls any which way. That, that's that's what I would say. Pretty clever. Wonder if this gold is gonna spread a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's glitter. in clear. Yeah. Remember how clear it is with stuff, it like separates. But it's like it's almost not clear. Because the, the powder is so fine. Tiffany Denny, that's what I that's what I always thought. Like I really want to try that. Um with these uh waterfall pours that we're doing if i just got a big piece of really smooth like masonite and put the black tarp over it and just got like i don't know 15 to 20 ounces of resin and just made a really nice just big pour on the middle of it and just let it set and come back the next day and peel it off and man that would be amazing Samantha, sorry, was dealing with offspring. <laughs> what colors are you using? She's using uh, purple rain, black, and gold glitter. And plum. And plum. Here, I'll, I'll give you guys a little close up here. Right, Samantha? She does, Leslie. She got a great she's got a great eye for colors. Look at all this gold popping up everywhere. Yeah. Man, I really wish this light worked. It looks very like Christmas. But it seems festive to me. God, I should use this gimbal. Look at that. Judy asked, where did the glitter come from? Miss Judy? Yeah. It came from Judy? It came from you, Judy. <laughs> She's like, man, where's that glitter come from? I gotta get me some of that. Oh, I already gave it to them. <laughs> it was with all the other, I hope I didn't grab this by accident. I can bring it back to you on Sunday. I just borrowed a little bit of it. Um, but it's one of yours. I'm sure you're going to want it because it's gorgeous. Where did you get it from? And that is just Amazing. I'm glad I'm not battling you today. What do you think he'd lose?
Yeah, it's just a gold glitter. It's real fine. It's an 18 karat gold glitter. 18 karat gold glitter. That I hope we didn't pick up by accident. Well, it was with the other stuff that she had put down, so maybe we picked it up when it was it got mixed up in it. We can bring it um, on Sunday if who uh, want us to bring it back, babe. You're what? You have um, low battery. It'll be fine. I won't be on this beach very long. What is all this trash in here? Um, it's staying. It's it's uh it's staying pretty good. Do I want to rock it or leave it negative? I would, I would go just a little bit, maybe make some cells come out of that these corners. Blow it or rock it? Rock it. I would heat it and then tilt it. Just those parts, though. Okay. My back is killing me. But just a little bit. tilted this back this way mm -hmm. so it stretches you just got black and your negative <clears throat> oh, maybe I should just tilt it all the way on that side well, tilt it, like heat it up good, and then or put some more clear right there, and tilt it all the way, and then come back so that it really sells out. Yeah, I know. I need I need a sippy sippy, but I'm 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 holding on to my light. <laughs> Man, that looks so good. I forgot that I wasn't standing in front of the phone. I hope I was talking loud enough, guys. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Your hair. Sorry. I, I've got like close up. Sometimes we do. Um, I'm just going to say Abby because I don't know how to say that name. See, that looks amazing. Look at that, guys. Man, I would leave it. That looks good. You said I got black on this edge, though. Yeah, but it's it's mixed in good. Hundred and twenty nine people watching. You guys, we l we appreciate you guys so much. It blows my mind that you guys come and check us out and watch us. Woohoo! I have a little bit of resin left. She's 
got a little bit of resin left, so she's gonna throw it on a small piece, or, you know, smallish, biggish. I think that thing's too big. It is. Do some coasters to match it. It's too much. Huh? You know you're gonna get um wood grain? No, you're gonna get uh air bubbles. It has to be sealed. And you just right here you're getting it all over the sides. <laughs> hey, well, that's that's plenty for like three or four coasters. What about gold glitter? Yeah, it's fine. Gotta go. Awesome picks guys, love watching. Thanks France. Thank you, thank you. My name is spelled Rod, but pronounced platypus. Plato, platypus. <laughs> Gotta watch those silent M's. Thanks, Margo. She said I'd rather, I, I'm supposed to be doing my stained glass, but I'd rather watch you. That's so sweet. Bye, nurse. Thanks, Lydia. That was sweet. She said, I enjoy every minute. I'm here, Jeff, and the two of you are every minute. Oh, I enjoy every minute I'm here. Inspiration to us. Thanks, Tiger Mouse. She said, you guys are as much fun to watch. All right. Oh my God, I can't see. <laughs> it's so difficult. Go get some food, Shy. Go grub. Go get your grub on. Uh, no, Lorna, they are, uh, what they are, they're cardboard, compressed cardboard. They're amazing, and they don't warp at all. She's so messy. Look at that. We've got to get a better light. This this is just nuts. We will be. Lorna, these are what uh, some of the ones that we've done. It's so hard. This lighting in here is terrible. Um, but yeah, in the backs. And they don't warp whatsoever. What none. Like we can do that and then paint similar colors on the back with spray paint. But they're actually really nice for coasters. We sell them for uh, five bucks a piece. Thanks, Karen. Good night. Where did we get those? Where did we get those coasters from? Amazon. We got them from Amazon. Hold on, I'll show you the name.
Ink Fish and Company, four inch rounds. They're like $14 for a hundred of them. I'll link it all in the description. She'll link them at the end of the video. I'd blow it a little, just, <laughs> mm -hmm. just to spread it out, you know. Babe, not everything is that's what she said. Dirty minds, dirty minds. Yeah, that's beautiful, babe. They look so much better with a light on them. Yeah. That's my favorite one. Actually. Yeah, I like them too. Here, move out of the light. You're like in all the lights. Like you can't see them. We've got to. I need to use my phone. We made an extra long one the other day. Drip. We love this. Great. Yeah, Shella, those those uh, colors are amazing. She did good. She always does good. Good job. This is what she did last night. Didn't it sell? She's the messiest one, guys. This one is really nice. Like caramel and plum. What is that, black? Yeah. Such an awesome color. And this is the one that I did last night. Did we sell this one? Yes. Yeah, we sold it. Yeah, we got to do a top coat on this one. All right. I think that wraps it up, guys. Tamara said, can you check on my eye? <laughs> we sure can, Tamara. Where's it at? Ooh, that got really soft, but look at that. <whistles> this one got super soft. Oh, man. What? Is that the one you just put down, babe? It dripped. It's like running. Uh, it's gonna be a long one. Yeah. Oh, shit. What do you decide <laughs> when we need the top coat? Did it go crazy? How do you decide what needs the top coat? Oh, because uh, we have dry spots on it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to put this back in this holder. I think it's unnecessary to just gently bite it. Okay, well. We and can... sometimes it has like an imperfection or a piece of lint in it, and then so we just have to sand it down. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I know this is a long video. Thanks to everybody that's stuck around through the whole thing. Oh, is this like Asian, like, what's the old Japanese, like, whatever? You're dumb. I hate it. Hate it! <laughs> Anyways, we appreciate all y'all tuning in. 
Message us if you have a question. Um, Thorninartistilldeath.com, two T's, two L's. If you ordered anything from us tonight, um, we accept Venmo, PayPal, and all major credit cards. Send me a message at thornartistilldeath.com so I have your shipping address and I know who got what because I will forget. It's N. People forget the N and they forget the two T's and the two L's. This is true. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. I will list all of the products that we use in the description box below. And um, what else? And if you guys want to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, there you go. It looks like that. It looks like that. And we will see all y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, bye, everybody. I said bye.